Okay, percent of change. What if you had something that was, um, let's say the price was $25, and then it ended up being discounted to $17. Okay, so the original price would equal 25 and the final price came out to be 17 what percent of change would that be okay obviously that's going to be a decrease because we are going down so how far are we decreasing it so the actual formula is going to be the change divided by the original amount and we're going to set up a proportion so we know percents are in hundreds so it's going to be out of 100%. We don't know how much it changes out of 100. That's what we're about to find out. So the actual change is going to be 25 minus 17. So that's going to give us 8. And because it is a decrease, okay, we can put it as negative 8. It's gone down $8 out of the original price, which is $25, equals x over 100. So we're going to take negative 8 times 100, giving us negative 800, equals 25x. And then that's a one-step algebra problem. We divide by 25, divide by 25, let me scroll down a little bit on this one. And negative 800 divided by 25 is going to be negative 32. Which means, because that's negative, that is a 32% decrease in price. 32% decrease. So let's look at an increase. Let's say that something costs, uh, let's look at gas. Let's say ga gas was $20, and this is one of the examples out of the book. They don't use gas, but I just want to make it sound crazy. It was $20 on Friday. And then by the time you came back from school on Monday, it was, what did they use? Uh, they used 23. So it went up 23 by, let's say, Tuesday. Okay, so we need our change, which in this case is going to be positive 3, all over our original amount, which was 20. And then we have our x over 100. So that's going to be, when I cross multiply that, and yes, I did say cross multiply because it's a proportion, that is 20x equals 300 then I'm going to divide both sides by 20 and that gives me x equals 15 because that 15 is positive that is a 15 percent increase of price okay so there's one a decrease problem and one increase problem. Let's look at one more. What if they give you a value and then give you the percentage, but then they want you to find the original value? So remember that it's original cost. Excuse me, I need to rewind there. It's the change 
over the original equals the percentage. So what if they tell you the cost of something is $75, but it's discounted 20%. It's discounted 20%. So let's find out how much it changed. We don't know what the change is. So we're going to let that equal C because we only have one cost, so we can't find out the change. We know the original cost was $75. We know that it's a 20% discount, so that's going to be 20% of 100. So that gives me 100C equals, let's see, 75 times 2 is 150. And then we add the 0 there. Because 75 times 20 would be 1,500. We are going to divide both sides by 100. Okay, so we would cancel the zeros. That's going to be 15. All right, so that's a $15 change. So if it was $75 and it's discounted 20% and it's a $15 change, then, then that means we're going to pay $60. I find that by taking the original cost, subtracting the change, 75 minus 15. All right, so just watch the wording on that one, and we are done. That is Chapter 2, Section 7, Percent of Change.